We are one month away from the 2024 U.S. federal election between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. And I just want to kind of break down to you how the electoral map is shaping up thus far with all the polls. So basically, you know, if you're new to American politics, you have to get a certain amount of electoral votes. Now, every single state you'll see here, for example, California, they have the biggest population, therefore they have the most electoral votes with 54. Other big states like Texas has 40, Florida has 30, and New York has 28. And all the states have somewhere in between uh, 1 and uh, 28. So what you have to do is you have to win enough states so that you your number ends up being 270 at least. If you get to 270 electoral votes, you win. So that being said, here's how the map generally shakes up. So you have the West Coast states, generally speaking, recently, that I mean, this is a Democrat stronghold. Some people think that this might start to change. I'm very reluctant to believe that. We'll see. But, you know, I mean, they're, they're, these three states here, Washington, Oregon, and California, are all basically safe states for Kamala Harris. Same thing with Colorado, Illinois, New York. These are all deep blue states. Now, you also have all of middle, middle America, basically, except for Colorado and New Mexico, going to Trump easily. Now, in these grayed out states, these are what, what are called the seven swing states. These are the states that are likely to be the, the very closest going into election night. And these are the states that are basically going to decide the election. Now, what the polls are showing, so all these gray states here, so Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada are very close. However, there are lots of polls showing that Trump is actually winning in all seven of them. Now, if he were actually to win all seven, you would see here he would win the election extremely easily with 312 electoral votes to 226 for Kamala Harris. However, as much as I want this to happen, I just don't think it will. I do think that Kamala Harris is probably going to win Wisconsin, I think she's going to take Pennsylvania. She needs Pennsylvania. And I do think that she's going to take Nevada. And I do think that North Carolina and Georgia are going to go to Trump. As well, sorry, as well as Arizona. So now you have essentially Michigan deciding the election. And again, I just, I got to, I don't like that this is going to happen, but this is my prediction now, to be fair, to anyone who doubts this prediction of 276 for Harris to 262 for Trump, I understand where you're coming from because here's the thing, right? Like, let's reset this again. If Kamala Harris does not win all three Rust Belt states, meaning Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, like, let's just say, for example, Trump gets Michigan, Harris gets Pennsylvania and Wisconsin and Nevada, she has to win one of or some maybe even two of either north carolina georgia or arizona and trump is up fairly big in each state right so if he if he keeps north carolina and georgia and arizona which is very likely she needs all three of wisconsin michigan and pennsylvania nevada actually i'm not even sure why they can uh, put nevada in the top seven swing states because i don't think it's going to have an impact whether harris or trump wins it it doesn't really matter it's all about the rust belt now, again, I've seen polls where they have you know Trump winning Minnesota and they have Trump winning Virginia. I would be very surprised. It's possible. I would just be very surprised. And I also got to admit, I just don't think they're ever going to let Trump back in the White House. I just don't. It'll never happen. And of course, it's going to take five days to count the, the votes. Of course. I'm not saying any shady business is going to happen, but I mean, let, let's be honest. All the things that they've tried to do to Trump, they're never going to allow him to win. Harris will win the Rust Belt states. She will win the election. It'll be close. But my final prediction is 276 for Harris, 262 for Trump. Uh, the comment section is probably going to be filled with arguments. Listen, that's fine. I'm always um, you know, preaching to you guys to, you know, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. General comments, your thoughts, whatever you want. Any future suggestions for videos? Whatever you guys want, but this one might be a little bit feisty because I know that this is a very heated time. It's a very heated election. It's a very important election. Some people might even think it's our last election. But let me know what you guys think.
276 for Harris, is that too much? Is that too little? Do you think Trump's going to win? you think they'll even allow him to win? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'll be back shortly with another video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care, guys.